was arguing from. All right. Um, so the choices okay. that's, that's, yeah, that's for the choices, and then right. if I'll you do a countdown. Go back right. and so right. three, challenges two, and it's got one, as well. go. Okay. All right. Uh, this is Commander Keen Five. This game's pretty silly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the Commander Keen Four run I've done, but that game's like pretty standard game. This game's really silly though. Okay, so this little robot guy, he's gonna push me off the pole. And that, <laughs> since he pushed me off the pole instead of me manually leaving the pole, that has a flag in the game that <laughs> it's the same flag uh, for taking you to the secret level near the end of the game. So when I exit the stage, it's gonna walk way to like the secret level in the game and skip like a tons of the game. So now we're in the secret level, which is like only accessible uh, <laughs> if you like find it, or if you accidentally warp to it. And it's the longest level in the game, but if I go up here, uh, <laughs> and I break this fuse, yeah, this triggers two, the two, best two, ending two, 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 <laughs> after I beat the game, and it also skips the longest level in the game. So after that, it takes me back to where I'm supposed to be on the ship. Um, except this is like past all the other levels. <laughs> so this is actually the second last level now. Uh, <laughs> And now, this level is also pretty long, if you play it normally. <laughs> but... Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm dying and I'm reloading my save. And it's taking me to the edge of the screen. And when I touch the edge of the screen, it's gonna beat the level. Because once you're out of bounds <laughs> and you're alive, it just automatically beats the level for you. Uh, it's very silly. And so this is actually now the last level in the game. And this is with the infamous dog pit. Uh, uh oh. So what I have to do is I have to get past... <laughs> I have to hit some switches, get some key cards, and get past this pit full of electric dogs. <coughs> and there's a really, really high chance that I'm going to die. So there's a quick save right here. <coughs> okay. Oh wow, I got through first try. Yeah, that's really yeah. lucky. <laughs> yeah, so this is why I picked up all the ammo on the other stage. I'm gonna actually quick save again in case I die again, because then that would be really terrible. Because I'd have to get through the dogs again. But uh, yeah, you're supposed to go like around uh, and go below, but you can just get through the dogs if you're really lucky. Oh god, okay, yeah. Uh, if I didn't mention this, but everything in Commander Keen is one-hit kill. It's really marathon unfriendly game, but we're doing it anyway, I guess. Okay, so far so good. Alright, so there's like one more obstacle that can really stop me, and it's called the Shikati Master, and yeah, he's there. He's there. <laughs> So, he needs to just get away. Okay, good. I got lucky. He went away. Oh, I'm having trouble getting up here. Okay. So now, this is really weird. To beat the game, you have to destroy the quantum explosion dynamo. And to do that, you have to, like, lure these mines over. And so, like, these explode when you get close enough to them. But if you, like, walk in a certain pattern, you can kind of lure them. And I have to lure them over here. Then they explode in random pieces. Oh, jeez. Okay, it didn't. It didn't blow it up. So I have to go get another one. But yeah, they like shoot out random pieces of like, uh, I don't know, metal or whatever they're made out of. And one of them has to hit the. One of them has to hit the glass thing below me and break it. This should do it, hopefully. No. <laughs> This game is also like really, uh, obviously there'd be a glitchless category for this game where you actually play through all the levels. Um, but this is kind of a nice demonstration of just completely breaking the game. Uh, if you're trying to speedrun this though, it's really silly because like the actual run itself is like three minutes long and it takes a ton of luck to get like the best time. So <laughs> I wouldn't really recommend it as like a game that would be fun to speedrun. There we go, boom. So, yeah, that's Commander Keen 5. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Should we, should we show off the Commander Keen... Uh, yeah, sure. I'll switch to Keen 6 while they get the prizes. 
Can someone else help out on no. the um, donation thing? Because yeah. I can't really do it on my own. It's kind of short. My apologies, that whole spiel of comparing Commander Keen to Mario that I <laughs> agreed to give during the Mario 3 block. Um, at the rate he's going, I'm probably going to have to put that off until the Mega Man 4 block. So. <laughs> we have a Commander Keen uh, portrait. Marquine, uh, I have no idea what he's doing. Uh, do you know the shortcut to increase cycles in DOS box? It's like Shift F12 <laughs> or something, Pogo. right? Uh, I think... Shift F12, maybe? Sounds that sounds right. familiar. Mm, Let's try it. Control F12? Oh, there we go, yeah. I'm just gonna crank it up a bit, because, like, there's some... It gets pretty slow. There we go. Yeah, it takes a long time. Alright, so are we...